Quitty Nerdigans. This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's Manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Twisted Wonderland Chapter 10. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And because, of course, this channel, let alone um, this video, are not sponsored. And I'm just on a non-stop high-speed struggle train heading into chaos. And it is getting faster by the second. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and a kick in, feel free to hit up my Cash App and PayPal. Those links are in the description box below. So, yeah. Um, last chapter... <laughs> We got to see more tyranny, um, but of, of course, courtesy of Riddle. And Riddle is just not going to let this go. Riddle is going to go full on tyrannical. And it's going to backfire. It will. But meanwhile, you know, of course, you is going to help get, you know, with the baking and shit to, to please Riddle and help his friends. But, yeah, it's not looking good for you now because he steps on the tail of a lion. A sexy looking lion at that. <laughs> Let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us today. Survival of the fittest. That's how things work here. Yes. Woo. Um, and this chapter is titled Supreme Beast. You about to be wrongfully beaten. Dad, this is so funny! You about to be rumbling! <laughs> Leona-san! Yeah? Are you fucking serious? His name is Leona-san! Not to be confused with, um, Mary Leona. <laughs> I knew you'd be, um, I knew you'd be in here. It's time for your remedial lessons. Oh, no! Ugh, if you end up having to repeat again, we'll seriously be classmates next year. <sighs> all you ever do is yap. It's not like I, I enjoy all the nagging. Come on, let's go. You better watch your back the next time you find yourself in my territory, herbivores. They're omnivores, you motherfucker. Assumption is the mother of all fuck-ups. That was nerve-wracking. <sighs> That guy's just a lion. Hey, we found a spot where, uh, where there's chestnuts and some tools. Sweet. Oh, yeah, the chestnuts. Let's go help out. That was the whole point. Ta-da. Ooh, you guys sure picked, it, uh, picked up a ton. Now we can make one huge dart. Maybe not after we peel them all, but we'll try. Ooh, we got, we got a recipe here. Sweet. How to make a Mont uh, Blanc tart. Here's the basics. So we're boiling them chestnuts. And then once cooked, um, what, or sorry, not cooked. once cooled, you peel the chestnuts. Step three, bring the chestnuts, um, some milk and sugar in a pot. And um, in a pot on heat and simmer. Yay. I think it's uh, to like a boil at first. I, yeah, it's saying on heat, you know, to like a boil. And then you simmer it. Yeah. It, this is like after it's boiled and all that shit. Anyways, right? Yeah. For puree the chestnuts, stir in the butter, and finally add a suitable amount of our secret ingredient, oyster sauce. Oyster sauce? It's Walrus brand young oyster sauce. The juicy, briny flavor of the oysters adds a savory umami element to the cream. Famous pastier stock it. It's gotta be really salty, but people add chocolate to, uh, to curry, so like maybe this will work. What? What? I mean, I understand like adding salt to caramel, and you know, I I do my own thing with like really weird flavors. Like, uh, hear me out. Like sour gummy worms and dark chocolate Reese's peanut butter cups. I know it's weird, but God, it tastes so good. <laughs> you can use it with milk chocolate as well, and it still tastes good. That sweet and sour, man, and the peanut butter just, like, chef's kiss. It is so good. <laughs> it's so weird, though. Let me be. Let me live my life. Oh, my God. It's a joke. It's a joke. You never had this in a million years. 
Oh my god, I was gonna smack him if it wasn't, it wasn't a joke, if it was oh my god. What's with you? I thought you were for real. I was gonna add some. I think, a little thinking would tell you that's a doggo. That's, I was like, what the fuck? Um, this guy's a smooth liar for looking so nice. Next, uh, take the whipped cream. Ah, uh, we made way too much chestnut paste. Now we're about, uh, uh, now we're about out of whipped cream, um, to mix it with. I'll go and buy some more. Do they sell it at the campus store? Yeah, they have got, uh, got just about everything. Can you get some other stuff while you're there? Two cartons of milk, two cases of eggs, aluminum baking cups, and five cans of fruit. You can make what you um, if you've ever made it, you can make homemade whipping, uh, whipping cream. It's good, actually. I'm not sure if I can, um, I'm not sure I can carry it all that alone. I'll lend you a hand. Take me with you. I'm sick and tired of mixing stuff. At the campus store. Excuse me. Is this really the place? It's like a sun-dry shop in here. Holy shit. Welcome to Mr. S's Mystery Shop. What is it you currently uh, seek, my little imps? <gasps> Dude, this design! Yes! A talisman from some unknown land, the mummy of an ancient king, maybe some cursed tarot cards, and anything and everything is f uh, in stock now. Looks like we found the shopkeeper. Jumping out of nowhere like that is like that scared me. Vasily is a shop! Yes! I love this. This design, the design of this guy is great, too. Look at this. Yes. And, yeah, motherfuckers, that bitch about diversity. Again. <sighs> um, I need everything on this list. Ooh, that's one sweet lineup, and it's all in stock. Oh, really? Um, how about this flying saucer for carrying your bags? Uh, buy this one 100 scale UFO and I'll give you 30% off. The heck is that? It looks fun. No, <laughs> that does look fun. Um, no, thank you. Hi, what an amazing store. Uh, just, I wanted to goof off some more. <laughs> I wanted to. Aren't those cans heavy? Let me help. It's fine. I've got a knack for carrying stuff like this. A knack? Yeah, I used to go with my mom to limited sales to stock up on stuff. Um, our bags were always um, so hefty. I'm the man of the house, so all the heavy lifting falls on me. Aw. Uh, uh, sorry for rambling, I mean. You really cherish your mom, huh? He's a mama's boy. Aw. No, that's not it at all. <laughs> me and my mom are like... Oh, no! No, the eggs crap! Oh, no! Crap, the eggs! That hurt. Watch where you're going, dude. Um, you're the ones who jump in front of me. What? You saying it's my fault? I am. Reimburse me for those eggs and apologize to the chickens. Oh my god! <laughs> who says apologize to the chickens? Huh? A bunch of eggs ain't worth fighting over. What? They didn't even splatter anything, so they're edible, right? We just saved you the trouble of cracking them is all. Are you fucking stupid? Do you see me laughing? Huh? Ain't your place to dis- Uh, ooh, his switch went and flipped again. Damn! Ain't your place to decide what's a big deal or not? Those eggs, instead of growing up to be chicks, they were supposed to become a delicious tart. You aren't gonna get me six eggs. I'll have to slug you six times instead! Woo! Dude! Do snapped? Damn! Do snap! Just like the eggs! Well, them eggs crack, but... Damn! Ooh. I understand, though. If he was in a single household where, like, you know, where um, they have to penny pinch like that, every cent counts. Every fucking cent counts. And the fact that, you know, you know, they gotta cut... You know... <laughs> When you are in a penny pitching household situation, you value everything that you buy. And when you crack eggs, like when you, you know, your eggs are wasted like that, for example, it's like, motherfucker, I just got these eggs. I, I eggs are expensive. You wasted, this is a waste of money right here, you piece of shit. Dude's about to go ho fucking hook on his ass! Dude, I wonder how rough it was for, for his family, though. It must have been tough, because he was the man of the house. He must have been raised in, like, 
a large single family with him and um and uh like uh, he could have had younger brothers and shit too but ooh when you have to if you're in a single family home and you have to be the man of the fa uh, man of the house ooh you know it's a rough situation oh man oh man those poor eggs those poor eggs See, he says here, I'm the man of the house, so all the heavy lifting falls on me. He has got that hard life. Poor Deuce. We'll find out more probably next chapter. I love this manga so much. I do. Disney, please tell me you're going to have a good studio do an anime adaptation. Of the, I know they're, it says it's an anime adaptation. They said it's an anime adaptation of the game. But I want an anime adaptation of this manga. There's not enough chapters for it, but I hope they wait. Disney, please wait. Wait until there's enough chapters of this manga, then do an anime adaptation, because I'd like to see it. But we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below what you guys uh, thought of this chapter. I like it, and I really like how different Deuce is from Ace. It, and yes, it is a yin and motif, let's be real. And, um, and what did you think of the shop, the student shop? I love the Basilia, the, um, uh, the voodoo realness that we have here. It is fucking awesome. The, uh, the princess and the frog, uh, frog of it all. And, you know, there's friends on the other side over there. When they say they have everything, they got everything. The Facilius of it all. Anyways, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerd Again Zinc if you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more um, Twisted Wonderland content. There's a few ways you could do that. Donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, find me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I'll be seeing you later. Bye.